Okay, this video is to show how to edit an animation that is read-only in Unity 3D. So, uh, we have this scenario with Ethan, that is a character from Unity Standard Assets. And we want to animate Ethan. So we want Et to see Ethan that is moving. And the first step will be to create an animation or download an animation and to create an animation controller. So for example, we can create here animation controller. We can call it test at uh, Double click to open it. Is this one in the animator window? And here we can have a state machine. So each state is an animation. For example, I have some animation here from Mixamo. We can use this one and drag and drop this animation here. So the first state will be the animation of Ethan that is looking around on the left and on the right. Okay, we created the animation controller. Now we have to associate the animation controller to the character. So here we have the animator and we select test at an animation controller. Doing this, we have uh, linked the character to the final state machine of the animations. We can press play, for example, and we can see that Ethan is moving and looking around him. So what is the issue now? The issue now is that if we select Ethan and go to animation, this animation is read only. This means that if we want, for example, that Ethan uh, started animation in a certain configuration or a certain position, we cannot do that. So the workaround is to delete this animation and open here the animation, select the animation clip and type Ctrl D. This way we duplicated the animation clip. Now we can drag and drop the animation clip here and see that here the animation clip is editable, so it's not read-only anymore. And we can edit it. For example, we can say that okay, we okay to record it. We type on record and okay. Look at the initial position. We want that the initial position is like this, so it's a little bit different. And okay, we finish recording it. So we edit the initial position in the first keyframe, okay? And if we press play, we can see that the initial position is quite different. So let's do it again. Select the first frame, type 1. Stop recording it and press play. Okay, so this way you can edit all the animations that are read-only, for example from Mixamo or whatever you want.